What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Today's video is a little different. I got a brand new setup going on here and this is a review for a Lego set that I've kind of had on the backlog. It is set number 7201, the final duel number two. Oh, and this is actually a two part set. There is an, a final duel one that completes this set basically you buy the two combine them and you know you make the little scene from the movie but this is the second one like I said ages 6 to 12 23 pieces and this was released in 2002 and it's really cool because it has Luke Skywalker a original stormtrooper and then in a an imperial officer uh, they're obviously yellow skinned tone minifigures and that's really cool the Star Wars logo up here Lego over here, um, taking a look at the top of the box, yeah, a bunch of little Denmark words and stuff up there. Now this one has obviously been crushed, this set, this is why I'm reviewing it, not one that I'm actually going to keep for the collection. Some information at the bottom there. And then on this side is the little Lego minifigure image panel, whatever you want to call that, I'm not actual sure it just shows the actual size of the minifigures which is pretty cool stormtrooper luke skywalker imperial officer on the back here shows you everything you can do so just imagine little movie scene pictures which is pretty cool i wish that lego did that more often they don't um, again here at the bottom you can see the final duel one final duel two combine those and you make the little battle between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker from the movie which is pretty cool. You can go to lego.com to join the fun. And yeah, pretty cool. Here's a better look of the set that we're going to build today and review. Pretty nice. I'm very excited. Now, let's get right into it. Now you can see there's a punch tab on the back going to do that and then we're going to just pop it up like that all right you get one bag and this one that's pretty cool you get the instruction manual as well pretty long instruction manual they could have made this way smaller but that's what we got flip through that real quick tells you how to build everything obviously and then ooh I like this poster um okay this is a really cool thing that Lego did back in the day where they like made a long image of a bunch of sets on the back and this is showing the two sets that are actually very similar which is Jedi Defense 1 Jedi Defense 2 same with the Final Duel 1 and Final Duel 2. As you guys can see, you can see Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn. Pretty cool. And then, let me just move this stuff. Alright, I'm going to actually just get rid of the box. Taking a look at the back, you can see Ewok Attack and the Twin Pod Cloud Car set. Pretty cool. Darth Vader at the bottom there, looking all snazzy. And then I believe, yep, that is it. So... This is the instruction manual. Pretty, pretty cool. Not really a fan of the folds on this one, but that's just what it is. You also have a loose piece right here, which would be the door. Also a um, 6x8, I believe that's what that is. Yeah, 6x8 plate. And then you also get this little Star Wars poster. or Oh, it's just actual Lego poster in general. Okay. That was just Star Wars. But we've seen this before, I'm pretty sure, on the um, Pirate Chaser set that I reviewed. Pretty cool. I actually want those sets in the corner. Got some sports sets up here. Pretty nice. And then, um, I'll set that aside. I don't know what this one is. Oh, each Lego Club magazine. 
Okay, so this is for the League of Club magazine. You can join today and all that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen anything like this. Join the Lego Club free. That's awesome. Gotta keep this. So I can join myself. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna build this set and get right back to you. One thing I noticed right off the bat after opening it, we have the old color for the the studs here. The old orange, which is pretty cool. The minifigures come half assembled, so like like this. I'm not too sure why it's like that, but usually the heads are separate. Alright guys, this is the completed set. Um, Pretty, pretty easy to build, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I barely even had to look at the instructions to build the little walkway there. You get an extra stud. This is the only extra piece that you get in the set, this old orange stud, which is actually pretty cool. Don't really have uh, many of these anymore, um, so it's nice to have that. Now let's take a look at the actual set itself. You get three minifigures in this set. Um, again, a little play set. It's not really that cool, I'm not going to lie. You're really just buying this for the minifigures. I believe this went for around maybe 8 bucks back in the day. I'm, I'm not too sure. Again, it's 23 pieces, so you're basically paying for the minifigures for that $8 price range. Um, still a great set for the minifigures if you're just focusing on that as a set entirely. It's not really worth it just because of how many pieces there are. And But um, let's take a look at the Luke Skywalker minifigure right here. This is the original Luke Skywalker minifigure. Um, very cool. I actually love this design. Very simplistic. I like that. Um, the head is pretty interesting. It, um, I think, changed over the years as well. But this is just one of the earlier versions with the eyebrows and all that. Simple face print as well with the chrome lightsaber. I love chrome lightsabers. I think that is the coolest thing ever. Mine don't really chip and fade. Um, more just like, just uh, get lost. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got this. Uh, the cool neon green, or I think that's a neon green lightsaber blade. That's pretty nice. No back printing on this minifigure. He is just as plain as it gets when it comes to a Luke Skywalker minifigure, still a really cool one. He does have the black hand from when his father cut his off, and then, you know, episode 6 comes around and he lets himself get captured, and yeah, you know how it goes. Next is the Imperial Officer, which is another good minifigure, just because it is the original gray color for the torso arms. And the legs and the hat as well. This is the dark gray, um, OG gray or whatever. I'm not too sure the official terminology, but still, nonetheless, a really cool minifigure. He has very thin lines printed on his body to represent his uniform. Still pretty cool. No printing on the back, as always, with these earlier minifigures. The only one we'll see with printing on his back is the... Um, Stormtrooper. Now if we fix his head, it is just a smiley face. Classic smiley face. Still a pretty cool minifigure. Next is a classic. This is the original Stormtrooper. Um, honestly, one of my favorite minifigures as well, just because the helmet is so cool. I remember playing the Lego Star Wars the video game, and that like, like you, you would get the helmets to go to the other locations and all that. Just pretty cool. He does have the original blaster as well. Pretty cool if we take his accessory away. We can get a better look at his torso and helmet. Now the reason why there's a line there is because the printing somehow didn't go all the way over. I'm not too sure why they messed up with like that when they were able to do it there. But still pretty cool. I know that was an issue for a lot of these Stormtrooper minifigures. A little bit of a misprint at the bottom, but still that's fine, I don't really care. He does have the original blank yellow head, so that's pretty cool. No printing on that. Here's a look at the back. Pretty cool. 
And yeah, this is a really awesome minifigure. I'm very thankful to own this set. I'm going to try to get a sealed version of this and the Final Duel 1. If you want me to review Final Duel 1, I can do that as well. Let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know how you like the new setup with the LEGO reviews. This is something that I want to do more often like this. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.